Hello everyone. Today we'll quickly learn about the properties and styling of the date picker widget. You can also access the link to the documentation for this widget in the description below. Let's start with dropping the date picker from the widget inventory. We can click on the widget to select any specific date from the below dropdown. Now let's quickly dive into its properties by inspecting the widget to access the following options. Default value. It is the placeholder for the date picker widget. If no value is provided, then the default value will be used from the picker. The value needs to be a string with respect to the format field available below. Format. We can decide the format of the date selected by the date picker. This field requires a string input. The default date format is DDMMYYYY. Let's change it to DDMM. Once done we can remove the year from the default value as well. To explore other types of date formats, kindly go through the documentation. Enable time selection. This is a Boolean field that enables us to select the time with the date. The value is false by default. Let's change its value to true. Now clicking on the date picker displays us an option to select the time as well. Enable date selection. This again is a Boolean field that enables us to select the date. The value is true by default. If we update it to false we won't be able to select the date. Let's not change its value. Disabled dates. This accepts an array of strings which will make the specific dates disabled and it cannot be selected. Let's provide a value as per our format defined above to see how it works. I am updating the following value. Now clicking on the date picker will block us to select this date. Events. It allows us to add an unselect event handler which gets triggered when we select the date. Click on add event handler and click on the default event and add the following value in the message. Now if we choose a date in the picker the event will prompt the message, custom validation. We can add our own validation logic for the date input in the widget using the ternary operator. Let's pick up an example to understand this better. You can pause the video and copy the following code. It ensures that an error message will be thrown if the date selected is not in the future. Tool tip. Under the general accordion, you can set the value of a tool tip. Let's try it out by entering the following value. Now when we hover on the widget we find the tooltip with the assigned value. Layout. Toggle on or off to display the widget in desktop and mobile view. You can programmatically determine the value by clicking on FX to set a Boolean value. Now let's explore the styling of the date picker widget. Click on the styles tab to access the following options. Visibility. Toggle on or off to control the visibility of the widget. Disable. Toggle to lock the widget. If toggled on we won't be able to select any value. You can programmatically change both the above options by clicking on the FX button next to it. Border radius. Change the border radius for the widget. I am providing it with a value of 12. This is what our final date picker looks like. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.